six weeks we work with the young people exploring the transitions they're going through using art, dance, drama and poetry to express and explore how they're feeling. Hello, my name's Sammy and I'm, I'm 11 and this, the current year is 2019 and I live in Hemsby and this is our school. And this is my colleague over here, this is tomorrow. <laughs> so, I'm going to be doing this for respect the dancing fish poster. Oh, there's dancing fish out in the sea. I'm Olivia and we are the Magic Movie Gang. And I'm feeling very nervous but also excited about secondary school. And I'm, I'm kind of um, like happy about um, the classes and the gym. It's important that the young people we're working with can have fun whilst looking at important issues, as this is the best way to engage and educate them at the same time. Um, I'm Mrs Hill, I'm a Year 6 teacher at the Clay Primary School. I thought the play was fantastic because it exposed the children to lots of different situations that they might find themselves in very soon as they go off to secondary school. Um, I loved the way that it was presented and the way that the characters changed. I thought it kept the children highly engaged throughout. They were all absolutely glued to it. They really responded well to it um, and I thought it was just a brilliant way to present them with those sorts of quite scary situations that they might face in the future. Time and Place is a theatre show and workshop covering bullying, peer pressure, cyberbullying and many more transition issues. Time and Place uses physical theatre to look at dangerous situations, including peer pressure to smoke and awareness of gangs. It was fantastic. Um, the kids' reaction is, is, is brilliant. They, they really get involved in it and it's the quietest they sit for at least half an hour. They seem to react appropriately to when the drugs come out, when the uh, drink comes out. So they sort of learn, they've already learned those bits, but it's then taking that next step and moving that on into a different situation outside of the school, outside of their home. Absolutely. They're just 
just like giving me the rules. I feel like they're making me feel like they are the right fools, but they keep on saying rules about me. I think that you should recognise that what they say isn't true and try and begin to sort of love yourself more and not listen to what the other like Billy say. And I know it's really cliche, but I think you should just overcome it. But if it gets bad, you should tell a teacher or a trusted adult or even just a friend. There was a story about this um, person on the sound and um, they went to the park and found a bag full of drugs and we had to write what we thought the drugs were about and we had to um, put what we thought the person that owned the drugs looked like and put what we thought um, they were going to do with the drugs and then put um, what we thought what we thought Sam should do with them and what we thought was right um, and what we thought was wrong. Hi, I'm Izzy. I'm Mia. And we're kids. kids. <laughs> we're, ex we're excited for <laughs> dance and music. My friends have supported me, especially Naomi and Stuart. I love this club, you should definitely join. 